Hello everybody, Paul here at Broken Arrow Farm. Today we're going to be working on moving the electric fence in the calving pasture. So their calving pasture now is about seven acres. I'm going to move that temporary electric fence to extend their pasture size. Everybody's done calving now, so I'm going to make their pasture a little bit bigger. Uh, first step before we do anything is we're going to shut off the, there it is, the fence charger. So we just have a solar fence charger down here that powers this fence we have around the hay yard here and then also around the calving pasture. And the reason we have that smaller pin is it's just easier to find them when they are calving and there's no pine trees in there. They can't have any pine trees or pine needles on their third trimester or they might abort their calf. So everybody's done calving now so we're just going to extend that pasture. So the reason we're going to extend this pasture and make it bigger for them is that uh, there's some old growth grass in that other pasture that they didn't finish last fall before I locked them out of there when they got into their third trimester. There's also some, some green grass starting to show up now, which is probably what they're going to want to get, but I'd rather they start eating that old growth, which hopefully they will, and uh, then they can hit the green grass and then, then they can move to summer pasture here pretty soon as well. So I like to use this poly rope, this poly fence. So this is a, a, a thinner gauge of wire or of poly rope here. It's a little bit cheaper than the, than the thicker stuff, I guess. The pros about the thicker stuff is that deer can see it, so they're not going to run through it. As where this, they might not always see it and they might run through it and knock your fence down. But this is a pretty inexpensive way to uh, temporarily fence your pasture. So we're just going to go ahead and undo the, the wire here, I guess tie it. So with what I did, ju just did there, you can just cut it with a knife if you need to. There's a good knot in there I tied and I don't want to mess around with that. So we're just going to go through and I got to pull these posts, which you, these, these just step into the ground here. These posts here. So we'll end up pulling the wire from the other end. We're going to grab these posts along here. Which these posts are, can be a little bit spendy compared to your regular electric fence posts, but I do like them just for ease of putting them in. You don't need a driver or a hammer, you can step on them unless the ground is frozen, and that does not work. I came back to get the camera. I ran this poly wire down here until I got to the end of it and then I uh, I came to where there's some other poly wire left over from last year which I must have cut this part off. I think I know I know I did and use that over in the in the cow pasture and another part of it over there. So I ran that wire through all the posts going through this draw. I just left the posts in here from last year so I just simply came back along and, and just ran the wire, poly wire through all these again. So now we're going to go up to uh, where I ran the wire and where it ran out and get that spliced together and make sure the other end is tied. All right, I'm going to bring you guys kind of up here where this wire goes. So where it ends and where I got to tie it to. So I like to use this. It's temporary and you can use it in some pretty some pretty rugged terrain. I'll show you here what we're going to be walking through. So yes, this can be fenced with a traditional fence, but 
this is just a lot quicker and easier and where I don't have the thing or I don't need it permanently fenced this works good oh boy I gotta figure out how to get how did I get up through here Okay. Okay, so here's my rope. See, this is just some thicker poly wire. Come on. Come on. All right. So we're just gonna take this to the end and then tie it off down here. Then we'll make the splice of those other two. Hoping there's enough there, we'll see. Okay, we're almost to the end here. Come on, oh, shoot. Well, it must be snagged on something now. Dang it, so close. I gotta go back and see what that is. This is what snagged us up. This little end here got caught on this log. So we'll undo that and then go back. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and splice this right here. Then we'll have to go to the fence where we we're just at and just stick in a, a small piece there. I think it's gonna be the easiest. So we'll get these spliced here. You can just simply cut it and tie it. It's pretty nice to work with. So. If you've come to this channel for <clears throat> for not tying tips, you're at the wrong channel, but hey, this will work. Okay, I just simply go around this one, make sure it gets good contact there. It should. That one should be good there, so. Yeah, it's not gonna pull apart now. Okay, we're back down here. I'm gonna splice this wire together right here, and then we'll go to the fence with it. All right, that's spliced together. Take my handy dandy little roller here. So again, like I was saying, the reason I like using this poly rope for temporary fence is it's fast and, and easy. And it just takes a solar fence charger, which I've never had any issues with. Okay. And then I'm just gonna splice it into right here. It's just that insulated piece of pipe there. Okay, so it's not pretty, but we got all that tied together there and tightened it up just by pulling it. So we should be good to go. There, we got the cow's calving pasture extended. So if you guys like what you're seeing here and you haven't did so already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. I'd appreciate it. And right along with us here at Broken Arrow Farm for the adventure. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.